cold. Hey there guys, Chris from Urban Suburban here. I am outside today in the garage slash workshop and I want to talk to you today about saws, particularly this one. This is the 15 inch Sven saw. I did a review video on this uh, last fall sometime. Love this saw. A lot of you guys know this saw. A lot of you guys are like me and you love this saw. However, this saw does have its uh, fair share of criticism and it is fair and mainly it has to do with this little guy here. This wing nut on the end that you have to take on and off to assemble and disassemble this saw. And of course the criticism with that is that you can lose it because you got to take it off. And if you drop that in the bush in the summer or spring or fall, that sucks. If you drop it in the snow in the winter, that really sucks. So I'm going to show you today what I did to not entirely fix that problem but to alleviate it and make it a little more manageable so stay tuned guys all right so this is mainly what you're going to need a pair of uh, vice grips or any sort of clamp uh, a couple small drill bits of course the wing nut from the saw a split ring from a keychain or uh, anything like that you can probably buy them also bulk at most hardware stores uh, a drill or a drill press and to go along with that, uh, some safety glasses, or if you're a real tough guy, maybe you can get away with the safety squint. But uh, I'm going to go with the safety glasses today. And there you have it, your saw has its very own lanyard. So if you are not concerned about carrying a pocket knife into the bush with you because you put a lanyard on it and if you drop it you'll find it, well, exact same theory here. You still got to take this wing nut on and off, but now if you drop it, here you've got a much better chance of finding it. As you can see, it's not going to interfere in the function of the saw whatsoever, it's out of the way. Um, but if you happen to drop that wing nut, now you got a chance of uh, picking it up again. Anyway guys, that's my tip for today. I hope some of you guys maybe found it a little bit useful and uh, at the very least maybe it'll tweak your minds a little bit and uh, maybe you'll think of some ways you can mod your own gear to make it a little bit better for you. Um, if you do, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. Even better than that, uh, make a video and post it to YouTube. I'd love to see uh, ideas, gear mod, that sort of thing. Anyway, as you can probably tell, it's a little cool out here. I'm going to head in and get myself a cup of coffee before the kids get home from school. So guys, get out, enjoy yourselves, have a great day. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.